you know this is lymphoid. You know it has no semblance, however, to a normally architectured lymph node. So instantly, you know it's a malignant lymphoma. But what I wanted to point out in this is it has features uh, frequently, uh, which were frequently referred to by various adjectival descriptions of lymphomas. This lymphoma is called a diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Well, we already know that it's a malignant lymphoma. Uh, we already know if we look pretty hard and there's no Reed-Sternberg cells that it's a uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We can already see that the most uh, that the pattern of lymphoid cells within here is diffuse rather than forming follicles. We can also suspect that the majority of cells here, because it looked like they have so much cytoplasm, that they would uh, generally be much larger cells here than we would normally see in the more smaller cells. So this is predominantly a diffuse large cell lymphoma. And incidentally, take a look at the nuclei here. They're as malignant as all hell, aren't they? Uh, the other thing I would like to say is that if you stained these cells with uh, T cell markers and B cell markers, and they wound up uh, staining positive for the B cell markers and not the T cell markers, then you would also uh, correctly classify it as a diffuse large B cell lymphoma which it is, but the main thing I want to tell you, because these classifications seems to change every day, is that go back and be sane and realize that if uh, lymphoid cells are still within the lymph node, but the architecture is destroyed, you have characteristically and correctly diagnosed malignant lymphoma, and then you could send it to your favorite uh, hematopathology geek to work out the details. And no matter what geek you send it to, they'll all come up with different diagnoses. I'm not being sarcastic on this or unnecessarily critical. This is what all of us pathologists had to live with for the last 30 years. Thank you very much.